especially one or the other that are very special to you. One that is very special to me was in my first year of priesthood, after doing the midnight mass at 10 p.m., I was invited to the house of Gustavo and Maria. This was in Chicago. Though Gustavo and Maria had been born in the United States to Mexican immigrants, they still in the household only spoke Spanish so that their little kids would learn it. And at midnight, they brought out the baby Jesus, like the one we have here, and the children sang to Jesus, and they put him in a, in a bed sheet and rocked him back and forth. And they sang to Mary, and it was very precious. And only after a half hour had passed of praising the Lord and praising Jesus and giving thanks to God for the birth of Jesus, only then did they open up some of the presents that were underneath the Christmas tree for the children. And the presents came from Jesus. No mention of Papa Noel or Father Christmas or his twin brother Santa Claus. All the gifts came from Jesus. Huh? Very precious. I will never forget it. Because he indeed is the greatest gift of all. Hmm? And um, the gifts that God gives us. And um, I also remember very much the song, The Twelve Days of Christmas, huh? On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. For many years, I thought this was the silliest song. Mm -hmm. And then I researched it a little bit, and it may be based on a, a poem written in France in the early 1700s which talked about the 12 days of Christmas being part of all the gifts of our faith that God gives us. Hmm? And it seems to make some sense because perhaps you have heard of the, the Cairo, the P superimposed on the X as a sign of Christ. Huh? The first two letters of the Greek alphabet. Huh? The first two letters of the word Christ from the Greek alphabet. Huh? And that's the P imposed on an X. It looks like a P in a tree. Huh? Looks like it could be a, a bird in the tree, a partridge. That our true love gives to us. Our true love, of course, is God. God is love. There is no truer love in our lives than God, who has given us the greatest gift of all. Huh? The Paschal mystery, Jesus, his birth, his life, his death, his resurrection. And the other, the other numbers in the song, all, we can understand them all as referring to some element of our faith. The two turtle doves can be the Old and the New Testament, the Old Covenant and the New Covenant, which we celebrate in every Eucharist. Three French hands could be the, the Holy Trinity, huh? that dynamic of love of the lover, God the Father, the beloved, the Son, and the verb love, the Holy Spirit, which draws us into this mystery of love. Or it could be that the three cardinal virtues of charity and faith and hope. Four calling birds, the four gospels, the four evangelists, the five golden rings, huh? Some say it's the books of the Pentateuch, but I like to think of the great ring, the great circle that we all have in our faith of the rosary and the five mysteries that we pray. The six geese a laying, the six days of creation. We praise God, presence in creation. And we revere creation as a gift from God. Respect it always, take care of it. And then the seventh day, which be God's day, the day we make holy by coming to church, by receiving communion, by spending time with family. The seven swans are swimming. 
the seven sacraments by which we become united with Jesus Christ at all the important events all our life long. Or the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit which we need to live Christian lives. The eight maids of milking, the eight beatitudes of the Gospel of St. Matthew, which is a program for holiness, a program of how to be truly blessed by God. The nine ladies dancing, the nine fruits of the Holy Spirit, in the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians, love, joy, peace, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, humility, self-control. Who doesn't need these gifts? Who doesn't need these fruits of the Holy Spirit in our life that are given to us because we are close to Jesus Christ? Ten lords are leaping, the Ten Commandments by which we can evaluate our lives every day, make an an examine of our conscience to see how we are loving God and loving neighbor as the commandments ask us to do. Eleven pipers piping, we can think of the eleven faithful apostles and all the saints throughout history. The greatest sign that God is present in our church and working are the lives of the saints, which are beyond all human understanding certainly a work of the divine. And the 12 drummers drumming, the 12 points of doctrine huh? in the Apostles' Creed, which we can reflect on very deeply all our life long. Hmm? These gifts are not just for the 12 days of Christmas or the 12 months of the year. These gifts never stop giving. They are gifts of our faith. And God is the great giver. He ca calls us to be like him. We are made in his image and likeness to be great givers. And the more we give, does our heart become smaller? No, our heart becomes bigger. It becomes like the heart of God, made in the image and likeness of the giver. So we are called to give of ourselves as Jesus gave of himself to the last drop on Good Friday. We too are called to give of ourselves as God gives to us this great gift of Christmas, Jesus Christ, the Savior of the world given to us for our salvation is a gift that keeps on giving all year long, all our life long, so that we too can give as God gives to us. I'm <laughs> 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 So dark. Can't see any crap. <laughs>
been a long time. We went to the mass and it was awesome. Yeah. Been a long been time long that time. we need, we didn't attend the mass. Look what I have from McDonald's. Yeah, Johnny has seeing frog. Um. A singer frog. <laughs> Thank you. 